Hi, this is John Marshall, the Drill Master. Uh, from 2022, this is the Ohio Wing Summer Encampment Pass and Review. <coughs> I know you can read that there, but I just thought I'd uh, I'd say that. All right, um, I've skipped well ahead to this point. This point is uh, very uh, particular, and I did it on for a reason. So let's watch colors here, marching forward and then wheeling about to the right. Wheeling about to the right is fine, not a problem. Didn't have to march forward though. Uh, it was unnecessary. But now uh, uh, the color guard is going to march back into place, right? N no, wrong. The color guard's not going to march back into place. What's interesting is that uh, a football field is 160 feet wide and the uh, uh, a parade. Oh, look at that. They wheeled to the left. Oh, wait a minute. No. No, it's not a wheel. There we go. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Well, let me see if I can fix this. Hold on just a second. Okay, back. Fixed it. Uh, so, nope. We don't wheel in the Air Force, do we? We do half left abouts and half right abouts. The most ridiculous command ever created. Unbelievably ridiculous. We were fine doing army wheels for many years. And then all of a sudden, wait a minute. Let's make it more complicated and sound like the, the dumbest service in the U.S. military. Yeah, let's do that for color guard. Anyway, so they wheel to the left. I don't know why they stopped. So it sounded like the commander just said pass in review. Fine, staff should get, then get into place. But where are you going, color guard? Your, your place is right here. See that right there? that in the center of the formation, that's where you belong. Where are you headed, staff? Most likely they will just move over to the left and... Nope, nope, they're not going to. So, color guard's going to be at the beginning of the uh, pass and review. Why? Why is that? There's no no reason at all, uh, honestly, for the color guard to move to the front. And then the the, the parade staff uh, doesn't necessarily have to move. Well, that's a, that's a, it, everybody should have started marching already. Honestly, pass and review, you, you make the few adjustments that you need to do. But colors march in the center. Colors are not first. That has I, I know that that's a myth because I've dealt with this a few times now. So many people think, oh, the position of honor is in the front. And it has nothing to do with that. It's all about tradition. And where does this tradition come from? It comes from the U.S. military's war fighting. So the Army, especially, and the Marine Corps, when, <clears throat> when fighting on the ground, they are going to form up, here's the flag, the unit flag, probably the American flag, unit uh, uh, or American in the the uh, uh, the Civil War, and then also the Revolutionary War. Flag in the middle, troops out this side, troops out this side. As long as the flag is moving forward, everybody keeps looking towards the middle, keep looking, fighting, keep looking, fighting, keep looking, fighting. That's what they did. So that's how everybody got their signals to keep marching forward was to have the colors in the middle. Now, <clears throat> back then, it was a single color bearer. Now we have a, uh, a color guard made up of at least four in these formations. The three is not appropriate because, uh, and you can't have three in a color guard. You got two guards and the American flag. That's, that's fine. That's the minimum. The usual is four, and for these formations, four, uh, military formations like that it, it needs to be four and not not the three so uh, color guard you need to be in the middle staff you you kind of took a, a long time 
but you got there. So let's, uh, let's come forward here. So this is the reviewing party here. And then six paces before, you do eyes right. So, color guard. Uh, got the, the flag pushed forward, that's fine. And the American flag straight up, that's great. Guards, what are you doing? You're going to present. What's the command? The command is eyes right. Where do you get present? So we don't do that in formation. Now, I'm <clears throat> going to give you another history lesson here. Decades ago, we had, uh, uh, we had different salutes for the rifle as an individual. The, the uh, Marine Corps, Navy, and Coast Guard still do those individual salutes. When you're at left shoulder, you salute like this. When you're at right shoulder, you salute like this. When you're at order, you salute like this. And I know I'm a little, it's, the, the camera's not low enough, but you salute, you have your rifle here, and then you, you salute like that, only it's down at, at order. Those are the three individual salutes. Army gave that up years ago and just went with present arms. So as an individual, not in formation, marching or otherwise, you go to present arms. For the Army, Air Force can most likely do the same thing. We usually copy most of what the Army does anyway. <clears throat> uh, but there's... I, I, I should qualify that. We copy the Army in, in a lot of things we do, but we've also copied the Marine Corps in many other things but then also created our own, I'm saying our Air Force, our own uh, way of doing certain things that have always been written down in the, in the manual. So present in a formation when you're static, sure. Present when you're in a formation and you're marching, no. A formation's given present arms, you go to present arms, that's you don't even need to think about it. You understand the command. But here, it's eyes right and ready front. Where do you get present from? Now, and I, I understand that the encampment was probably absolutely fantastic and the cadets did a, a wonderful job from all around the world, really. You can even read some, uh, uh, the Okinawa uh, wing was, was commenting on that. They had sent some some uh, of their cadets into this encampment. I don't know exactly what uh, encampments uh, uh, do. Uh, it's a lot of training and, and all kinds of good stuff for cadets and, and that's all I need to know. It's not a, not a big deal. So that's fine. But uh, And then they have a, a pass and review uh, for the graduation ceremony which is also, you know, it's part of military tradition to do something like that. We have a pass and review for at the end of basic military training, and, and uh, so do the other services. We do this all the time. This is good, solid uh, military work here. However, if we're not going to do this properly, then why do it at all? You don't go to present. And color guard, you don't march at the front. So. That was it. That's all I wanted to, to, to do. I concentrate, you know, I never thought that I would concentrate so much on colors. And, and I do, I concentrate on colors. Because it's, it's the, the biggest ceremonial element that goes wrong almost all the time. Because nobody bothers to read. I guess we're getting lazy, not sure. Anyway, um, uh, let's try to do better, Civil Air Patrol, okay? Let's try to do better. I'm right here. Just ask, for goodness sakes, just ask. Have a good day.